So guys, the circle drill is a scenario that we get into a hundred times a day in the terrain that we want to be riding over the next three days. Okay. We go into something. We say no way in hell. We turn around and come back up. Okay. Or we go down into something. We go, I'm like, oh man, there's a sweet line over there. We go below the tree. We turn, we go above the tree. And then we, it's constantly transitioning from wrong foot forward back to neutral and vice versa. Okay. So here's what, how this drill works. I am going to have Andrew show you and I'm going to talk about it. Okay. Um, Andrew, do me a favor. So the, we're going to do it two different ways. First, he's going to go down and there's, there's so many points about this. That's why we're going to do it a lot. Okay. First and foremost, he's going to start neutral, but he's going to use the slope of the hill to get himself on edge, not drive to the corner, then stop, then counter steer, then get on edge. We're not going to do that. We're going to do it in one very smooth move right down here. As he goes down the hill, he's going to counter steer, which is going to make the sled come over. Then he's going to get to that corner. When he gets to that corner, is his foot going to be forward or back as he's going downhill? Are you sure? No, it's forward. You were right. Okay. Forward, right? Yeah, we're going downhill. Wade goes down. He knows the drill already. Oh, damn, the circle drill. I'm going to go nail this thing. He goes down and initiates early. Perfect, right? On edge, he's got his foot all the way forward. Perfect. Going downhill, he goes to make his turn. He forgets one very key ingredient. He didn't move back. And when he comes around the corner, he made the corner. He blew by our berm, made the corner. And then as he started to come uphill, he was wrong foot forward. He tried to get back neutral and he couldn't. There was nowhere to put his foot. It was all the way forward. So then he was like this, and then he ended up coming up the hill like this, okay? The reason we make that transition for our foot back is a couple reasons. One is we unweight the front of the snowmobile by stepping back, correct? Think of it as the teeter-totter like we explained in the riders meeting. All the way forward, we're putting ski pressure. All the way back, we're unweighting that front end, making the sled easier to turn and rotate, okay? so. When you come around the corner, that foot should be back, which gives you the foot exercise that Andrew was talking about. Look how much room I can put my foot here, and then this goes back, okay? So that is the drill. We go down forward, we stop, we put our foot back. It's not a hop, you'll see Andrew do it. Then we have a place for this foot to come in and come out. We gotta be able to look around the corner.